This is the challenge of the GoBots adventure story titled Target Earth. You can follow along in your book. When you hear the sound of the laser gun, you will know it is time to turn to the next page. In story record number one, titled Battle for Gobatron, we learned that one of the spiraling arms of the Milky Way, the metallic world of Gobatron, is being wracked by a violent revolt. A battle between Leader One and the Guardian Gobots, and Psykill and his renegade forces is taking place. In this fateful struggle, Leader One has been joined by Matt Hunter, a young NASA astronaut trainee, and together, their forces are seeking to locate the powerful Astro Beam, stolen by Saikyo. At this moment, Scooter and AJ are overhearing a sinister plot being discussed between Saikyo and Braxis. Braxis is the top-ranking NASA official who secretly desires to overturn NASA's leadership and gain his own powerful leadership. Once we have stolen the powerful energy source, Saurium, from the Soviet research compound, my plan will be underway, Braxis. <laughs> Our plan, Psykill. <laughs> Remember, we are partners. Listen, Scooter, that's Dr. Braxis. He's turned traitor to NASA. We'd better get some help, AJ. As they start to leave, AJ accidentally trips and falls over some laboratory equipment. Good heavens! How did they get in here? Doctor, get them! They may have heard our plans! Copters, spinning blades, slice through the walls of the office, and then through the outside walls of the building, leaving the laboratory in a shambles. By then, however, Scooter and A.J. have sped away to safety. Soon, Copter returns. They have escaped. Perhaps it's just as well. We don't want to be observed just yet. My poor laboratory. It's a mess. The Guardian and his friend may know about our plans to steal the Sorium. I understand, Copter. But if they try to intervene, we'll be waiting for them. To destroy them. Soon, AJ aboard Scooter arrive at the Guardian Command Center and are quick to tell Matt Hunter the whole story. I can't believe it. Dr. Braxis working with the Renegades? Well, we've got to do something because he has access to NASA's secret files. As soon as we get Turbo patched up, we'll make our plans. Matt and his group decided to quickly call General Newcastle at NASA's command center to alert him of Braxis conspiring with the aliens. Hello? Hello? I have to speak to General Newcastle at once. Hello, Matt. I've been trying to reach you. Braxis is here, and he's reported to me that you and your friends have completely ruined his lab and equipment. This is a capital offense, Matt. What is going on? General, that's not true. I have called you to report that Braxis is conspiring with alien robots. What? Why, that is absurd. Perhaps, General, the stress of the shuttle mission was too much for them, and they're a bit disoriented. Ah, uh, Matt, perhaps you'd better come on out here to NASA, and we'll talk about this. I get the distinct impression that you don't believe me, General. Now, take it easy, Matt. Matt, are you there? He's gone. Someone put out a tracer on the location of this call, quick! Upset over the fact that Braxis has influenced General Newcastle into thinking Matt has ruined his laboratory, and that the General did not believe that Braxis was actually plotting to help the renegades, Matt conferred with his friends. First, we have to find them. Scooter and AJ overheard that the renegades are after an energy crystal called Sorium, and we have succeeded in tapping into your computer control, Matt, and this is what the computer told us. Sorium, created by Dr. Anya Turgenova, Eastern Bloc scientist. When removed from its frigid nitrogen solution, Sorium destabilizes quickly and explodes with incredible force. 
Sorium is found and stored only on the Arctic island of Stobovoy. End of message. That must be where the renegades are heading. Exactly. Will you show us how to get there, Matt? You bet. Let's go, everybody. And so, at this moment, two space vehicles are speeding toward the frozen region, the Arctic island of Stolbovoy. The renegades to capture the energy crystal, Sorium, and the Gobot Guardians, along with Matt and AJ, to intercept them. As the renegades enter the frozen Arctic atmosphere, their entry causes a sonic explosion which echoes over the fields of ice and snow. What was that explosion? It didn't sound like a meteorite to me. After landing close to the laboratory, Psykill, aboard the Renegade Command Center, determines his plan of attack. We must proceed with all caution. Crasher, activate the Astro Beam. I want to speak to Phytor on Gobatron. Commander Phytor reporting. How does the battle for Gobatron go? The Guardians have us surrounded. We need your permission to use Zod against them. No, I need Zod here on Earth. Now launch him immediately to the prearranged coordinates. Yes, Psykill. We will prepare Zod for launching at once. Within moments, Phytor and his men have the fire-breathing Zod ready. His mouth crackles with electric sparks as he roars and rolls into the huge ready chamber. The monster's color changes from red to blue to silver gray as he is frozen and readied for astro beaming to Earth. Please turn to side two for the continuation of the Gobot story. The gray sky explodes with a flash of light as the astro beam summons Zod. The projectile plummets through space and into Earth's atmosphere, landing near the Renegade spaceship. Excellent! Now I will activate Zod's energizing forces and we will take the Saurian! Inside the compound, Dr. Anya Turgenova sits alone reading. Her guards have gone to explore the reason for the sonic explosion. She hears the sound of the electronic doorway passage as it opens. Thought I told you to investigate that so-called meteorite. She turns toward the sound of approaching footsteps. Ooh. What? What are you? Greetings from Gobatron! Guards! Guards! Help! Help! From his glowing eyes, Psykill unleashes a series of energy bolts. We have come to relieve you of your precious Saurian crystal. Within moments, the guards appear, followed closely by Zod, who towers above the troopers, breathing fire down upon them. Soon the entire compound is engulfed in flames and threatens to cause the sorium to explode. Zod's lightning bolts nip at the heels of the guards and his arms and tail beat the compound to pieces. Psykill, with the help of Crasher and Copter, locate the precious sorium. Psykill, we have guests. Yet another spaceship has landed. <laughs> Our dear friend, the Guardian. What perfect timing! Turbo, Scooter, I want those renegades stopped. You bet. You're on, Matt. Within moments, the approaching Guardian Command Center flies in for a landing, extending its powerful legs for touchdown. Before the craft can even land, the cargo bay opens and out soars the jet formation of Leader One. Swooping down, Leader One fires glowing air-to-ground missile bolts at the evil command center, which is jolted by the blast. Copter, in chopper formation, emerges from the renegade craft and whirls after the Guardian jet, sending pinwheeling energy bolts flying in every direction. 
Psych Hill, now in the swivel seat of the battle cockpit, with rocket launchers in his grip, plunges the triggers with his thumbs. Behind him sits the stolen sorium canisters, his prize. We have spotted Dr. Turgenova. She is still alive, Turbo. See if you can rescue her. Leader One swerves back and forth to avoid the energy blasts shot by Psycho, unaware that he is on a collision course with Zod. The screeching monster opens his mouth and breathes out crackling thunders of lightning, which strike the jet. <laughs> We've been hit. Hang on, we're going down. The stricken jet begins to tailspin downward, levels out, and touches down. Immediately, Leader One transforms into robot form. Matt leaps out of the escape panel and begins to run, as does Leader One. Zod is in heavy pursuit, jaws snapping and roaring with rage. Quick, this way, Matt. Come, Turbo, Scooter, everyone. Let's combine our forces and make a stand. We've got to stop Zod. He's too powerful for a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Zod advances, and behind him, the forces of Psycho, Crasher, and Copter. The Guardian Gobots are now in an almost impossible situation. As Psycho approaches, he lifts one of the bubbling and unstable canisters of Sorium from the shelf behind him. Hold your positions. I think I have the solution to our problem. One small chunk of this sorium should do the trick for us and eliminate our nemesis, the Guardians. <laughs> what Psykill does not realize is that the heat and energy being transmitted from the sorium has begun to cause the massive ice field on which he is standing to weaken and crack. Farewell to you, Turbo! <laughs> And to you, Scooter. <laughs> What's happening? Look! Zod is sinking into the icy waters! The Saurium has caused the ice field to begin melting. Stand back, all of you! It may explode! The Saurium is now sputtering and bubbling wildly, shooting off light like a million sparklers. Suddenly, a mammoth explosion causes the entire landscape to shake as billows of ice and snow envelop Zod, Psykill, and the renegade forces, allowing the Guardians to escape. Oh, help me! I cannot swim! Now, although it may seem that the threatening danger of the renegades is behind them, the Guardians know that the possibility still exists that Psykill and his cunning wisdom find a way to emerge from the chilling depths to once again challenge the guardian gobots and to seek conquest of gobotron this is the end of story number two please check at your record store for additional challenge of the gobot adventure series <laughs>